right, so pretty much I'm just talking about the uh, current events, the um, <clears throat> SVB crash, uh, I mean the SVB uh, shutdown, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's chaotic, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start putting more, more content out, I feel like, I feel a responsibility because I've been studying this and seeing uh, what's ahead, you know, studying everything that's going on right now for almost five years now, you know, coming from the business finance sector, uh, I worked with, uh, you know, banks, um, large banks, I worked with Swift Capital, um, and I'm familiar with the legacy system, the old uh, banking system that uh, we was working with, and I'm familiar with the the need for change, and I was aware that things were changing while I was in that field of uh, service. But like, so since 2017, I was um, doing uh, business financing, and I noticed, you know, everybody was talking about how the Swift uh, payment system was just too slow. And everybody kind of wanted a more faster way to go about things. So how does this affect you? How does it, you know, this sounds like a whole bunch of mumble jumble or whatever. This affects you because pretty much everything that's happening above, as above, as well below. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much there is is a, a, a plan that your bank is looking to apply. So the banks that you trust and stuff like that, they're looking to move into a, a, a system, a newer system, a faster system. You know what I'm saying? A faster system, a more convenient system. This is a thing of convenience. You know, everything that all the talks that, you know, all the, the hype and shit that's going on with the Fed, the Fed meetings, the room power and all the shit. This is um, this is ultimately about convenience. And now I'm just going to get to the juice. The juice is central bank digital currencies, um, UBI, uh, the market crash, the economy crash and all this shit, all, all kinds of chaos. You know what I'm saying? And they'll use that to move you into a more convenient system, which is CBDCs. Uh, the next chaos that will happen or whatever, the next chaos that will happen would uh, be a, a reason to to give out more stimulus. Remember, we got stimulus around this time in 2020. Everybody managed to get a direct deposit of $1,000 from the government. You know, that was a test run. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much imagine that same type of scenario, but in the form of central bank digital currency. This is a programmable money so programmable money into your account and um you know what does programmable money mean it means a lot more control it means you can't spend a certain amount of money in a particular area uh you can't you got to spend a certain amount of money within a particular time uh they watch every little dollar that you're spending uh you know all of these things is convenient for the, the, the Fed, so why not? If you don't, you know, if something works more better for you, then you're going to go ahead and do it. Why not? Because you should, you know what I'm saying? You should do stuff that works better for you, that's more innovative for you. You know what I'm saying? We embrace innovative technology all the time. So, you know, one can make the argument, so, like, if you're not doing nothing wrong, if you're paying your taxes and, you know, you're doing everything that the Fed likes, then what's the problem? So it's not no spooky, unrealistic thing for them to do. Um, that is the honest truth of what they're doing. That's the honest truth of their uh, plan. You know what I'm saying? So obviously they can't make it too obvious. They have to have an unjust situation unjust situation meaning you know oh this happened so you know a problem reaction solution and the solution is going to be their their created solution 
which is the central bank digital currency. So create a problem. You know what I'm saying? Create a problem. Cause a reaction. The reaction is the news, you know, what's happening right now. And the news media is spreading, uh, uh, this, this covering this story and spreading it. You got the shade room talking about it as if a lot, you know, I feel it's ir- irresponsible because not everybody have two hundred on fifty thousand dollars in their bank. So why are you perpetuating the this news that could potentially encourage people to run to their bank and get their money out, which causes a bank run? Now a bank run is similar to what happened. You know everything is similar to what happened in the first Great Depression. You know what I'm saying? So that that's like a calculated outrage. So that would be the reaction and the solution is their ideal central bank digital currency. Trust me, this tactic, this this way, you could get everything you want in this format of uh, manipulation. Problem, reaction, solution. Correct. You got us. You you want. I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example, but if you want. Uh, something, you know what I'm saying? Create a problem, you know, that'll cause a calculated outrage, a calculated reaction, and then cause us to create a solution. You know what I'm saying? You'll get what you want. But, um, yeah, so that's going to cause the problem. Uh, that's going to cause the solution. The solution is a central bank digital currency. Um, and that's going to make their life on the easy street. The, the Federal Reserve and all that stuff, they could just push a button and just do everything that they want. They could just sit back. Everything's being automated. Even their jobs are getting automated. So, yeah, you know, that's pretty much what's happening. Um, now, my conscious uh, solution, in my version, here's the problem, which I already knew ahead of time. Um, my conscious solution, uh, my conscious reaction is to remain calm. Uh, this is my reaction to the problem is just being calm and kind of like telling other people to be calm and moving accordingly. Accordingly would be uh, to uh, buy assets that's outside of the system. You feel me? Like cryptocurrency, you know, put it on a private ledger. I mean, a private uh, wallet, a digital wallet. Hard drive wallet, like a net, uh, Ledger Nano or a decent wallet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I talk about these things on the Freedom Culture. The Freedom Culture is on YouTube, and this is on Instagram, and this is on TikTok. I'm going to talk about this a lot more because there's going to be a lot more chaos to come. This is going to be a domino effect. Uh, so, yeah, buy assets to me, and speaking for... My, I'm not talking about speaking for the rich people, for people that's above my pay grade, my my wage or whatever. Uh, I suggest buy gold. I suggest buy a whole lot of gold. Anything outside of the system, buy buy businesses. You know what I'm saying? Buy businesses. I won't even suggest real estate or whatever. Um, I suggest buy gold, buy businesses. But uh, if you want to be an uh, easy take would be to buy gold you know just go ahead and just buy a whole bunch of gold that's outside of the system now for people that's not making over two hundred fifty thousand dollars my suggestion would be to buy cryptocurrencies put it on a private ledger buy iso 222 compliant cryptocurrencies now iso 222 compliant cryptocurrencies are the ones that's they'll be using for the real-time payment system, the quantum financial system, or that instant payment system, the whole CBDC situation. You know what I'm saying? So they'll be using the ISO 222 compliant uh, software to make these instant payments and this streamlined effect work out. And we have the opportunity to buy these things for the low. Um, Put it on a hardware uh, wallet, and shit goes wrong, you can't get money out your bank or whatever, you still have digital assets that you can convert into whatever form of a, a currency that will be established at that time. Um, and also, if you don't want to deal with cryptocurrencies or whatever, 
you could just go ahead and buy silver. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and buy silver. Silver is about $20 uh, a piece. You know what I'm saying? And you could barter with that. Right now, you really want to, uh, you really want to, you got to do something. You feel me? You got to do something. Because doing nothing, it's just going to, it's just not going to look good. You know? My fear is the, the outrage that this is going to produce. So, when there's an outrage and everybody's running to banks and stuff like that, and, and the banks tell people that they can't get money out there, the, they can't give them any more money, and people start going crazy and burning down their banks and shit like that, like, that's been happening around the world, you know, this has been happening in Lebanon, this has been happening in some of the Spanish countries, it's been happening in India, but we, as Americans, for some reason, feel so arrogant to believe that it wouldn't happen here. But when these things happen um, and you're prepared, you can just sit back out and be out the way. You know what I'm saying? And just wait until things get in line again. Um, but with that, I'm going to just say peace. Uh, hit me up on the Freedom Culture on Instagram. Hit me up on TikTok. Hit me up on YouTube. Like I said, watch out for more content. I'm going to go ahead and start doing uh, this more often because it's going to be some interesting interesting events uh, ahead. But later. Peace.